Royal Caribbean announces its brand new Australian cruise season, Alaska limits its big ship visitors, and who knew, fishing from a cruise ship isn't a good idea. I'm Adrian, the Cruise and Travel Guy. I produce cruise-related content every week, so please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the video. Sun Princess, Princess's first Sphere-class ship, will sail from Port Everglades from October 2024, with a series of just-announced itineraries now on sale. The cruise line's biggest ship will reposition to the US from Barcelona in September 2024, before sailing on a range of Caribbean itineraries between October 2024 and March 2025. Sun Princess will return to the Mediterranean, with details of her second European season to be announced shortly. You can learn more about the groundbreaking Sun Princess by clicking the card above or the link in the description below. If you've ever thought about fishing from a cruise ship, consider this your warning to never do that. Two passengers have been banned from sailing with Carnival for life as a result of video of them fishing from their balcony stateroom, successfully I might add, going viral on TikTok. According to reports, the incident took place while the ship was docked in the Bahamas, and Carnival later issued a statement indicating they had found the culprits and banned them for life. Royal Caribbean has announced its highly anticipated 2024-2025 Australian summer cruise season. The new season will see the Quantum Class Sisters return to our region, with Quantum of the Seas once again sailing from Brisbane and Ovation of the Seas from Sydney. Compared to the 22-23 summer cruise season that just ended, the average cruise duration on offer in the new program is one and a half nights shorter. Plus, there are more sampler or weekend style cruises to choose from. Quantum of the Seas will make its way to Brisbane on a 12-night voyage, sailing from Singapore on November 19th. Ovation of the Seas will return to Sydney via the much-loved Trans-Pacific repositioning route, sailing from Honolulu on October 13th for 19 nights. Interestingly, none of the cruises on offer are scheduled to stop at Royal Caribbean's long overdue South Pacific island, Lalipa. Situated in Vanuatu, Perfect Day at Lalipa was scheduled to launch as an exclusive private island oasis for Royal Caribbean's guests. Despite being first announced in 2019, updates have been scarce. It was broadly expected that the island would be open for the 23-24 summer cruise season beginning later this year, but neither it nor the 24-25 cruise season make mention of the island. Reception to the new season online has been mixed. I did post the new schedule to my Facebook page, and whilst some commenters were excited for the new deployment, others expressed their disappointment. The biggest criticism being the lack of ship variety, with none of the cruise line's much-loved Vision, Voyager or Radiance-class ships returning to Australia. The new season will be on sale from May 4th. As I suggested last month, it looked then like Royal Caribbean would no longer be hosting the hugely popular music charter cruises held by Australian company Choose Your Cruise. Their newly released schedule confirms that there are no gaps that would allow for a series of charter cruises to take place. I had floated the idea that Carnival Luminosa would instead sail the charters, and that now appears to be the case. Choose Your Cruise yesterday announced that its Bravo Performing Arts Charter Cruise will be sailing from Sydney on October 16th, 2024. On board the Carnival Luminosa. The company has opened pre-registrations for its Bravo Cruise, and you can find the link to that on their Facebook page. The Alaskan summer cruise season is already underway, with around 60 ships expected to ply the pristine waters of the spectacular landscape this year. In response to growing concern about the number of cruise ships and with them people visiting the state capital of Juneau, a new cruise ship threshold has been put in place. Beginning in 2024, there will be a limit of five large cruise ships that are allowed to call in Juneau at any one time. At the moment, it's not uncommon to see up to seven cruise ships dock in the tiny city. This season alone, there are 702 scheduled calls in Juneau. And whilst many believe the influx of passengers is great for the economy, there is a camp of others that are concerned about the overwhelmment of the city's attractions and facilities. The new cap has been established in response to those concerns. Finally this week, Celebrity Eclipse will depart Sydney this Saturday at the conclusion of its current three-night cruise to nowhere. The beautiful ship will be the last internationally based ship to depart Australian shores and will officially mark the end of Australia's summer cruise season. 
and what a fantastic season it was. Don't despair though, Pacific Explorer, Adventure and Encounter will continue to sail locally throughout our winter season as well as Carnival Splendor. They'll all offer a range of domestic and international cruises during our cooler months. A midwinter tropical escape does sound pretty appealing. Well that's it for this week's cruise news update. Wherever you are, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in booking a cruise, you can head to my website and use my special cruise search and booking tool at thecruiseandtravelguide.com.au and you can also give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram at thecruiseandtravelguy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cruise visitors and who knew? Shishing. Who knew? But fishing from a cruise ship is not a good idea. That, that, that. And who knew that fishing from <laughs> And who knew sh fishing <laughs> Before sailing a range of Caribbean itineraries between March nope 